Hey everybody, uh, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is multiplying with 7. This is lesson 4 or 5 in the textbook we're following. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. Okay, for our teachers, there's our common course strand. Our essential question is, what strategies can we use to multiply by 7? Okay, 7 is kind of the tricky one, so here's some strategies here. So, Ina goes to dance lessons once a day for an upcoming recital. How many times will she go to dance lessons in four weeks? Okay, so we're going to be basically multiplying seven times four here. So how often does D uh, Ina go to dance le lessons? Well, she goes every day. And how many days are in one week? Well, there's seven days in one week. So since she's doing it for four weeks, that's why we're multiplying seven times four. That'll tell us how many lessons she went to in, in uh, four weeks. So one way is we can use what's called the commutative property of multiplication. Okay, well when I drive to work, you guys, I said this in an earlier video, I am commuting to work in my truck. So the commutative property of multiplication just says uh, instead of doing 7 times 4, I can, I can flip these 7s and 4s around. They're commuting around this multiplication symbol right here and make it 4 times 7, okay? 7 times 4 is the same as 4 times 7. And if you forget what 7 times 4 is, you can just add up 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 four times. Okay, 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is um, uh, 21. And then 21 plus 7 is going to get us 28. Okay, so uh, we use the commutative property of multiplication to just do 4 times 7 and flipped it around. Made it uh, 7 times 4, which means there's four groups of 7. Okay. All right, so Ina will go to the dance lesson 28 times in four weeks. Okay, so uh, uh, another way is to use uh, the distributive property. We've used this uh, several times, so we can make an array to show four rows of seven. So there's four rows of seven right here, one, two, three, four, and then we have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so here's four times seven. You can count up all those dots if you want. That's what you'd get for 4 times 7. Okay, we know it's 28 already. But what we can do is uh, take that array right here and draw a line to break this into two smaller arrays for facts that we may know. So if we drew a line, let's say right there, and made it 4 rows of 5 right here and then 4 rows of 2. And 4 times 5 will get us 20. So we'll multiply uh, the smaller arrays and then add those products. Okay, so 4 times 5 equals 20. 4 times 2 equals 8. Okay, so 4 times 7 is the same as 4 times 5 plus 2. Here's my 5 plus 2 right here. So I'm doing this 4 by 5 plus this 4 by 2 right here. Okay, so 4 times 5 plus 2 is 4 times 5 plus 4 times 2, which is 20 plus 8, which is this 20 plus 8, which is 28. Okay, remember in the last lesson we distributed this 4 through 4 times 5 and then 4 times 2. Here's 4 times 5 and 4 times 2 separated by this plus sign right here. Okay, so uh, so we drew a line right there uh, to break it into two smaller arrays and then we can find those smaller products. Okay, so 4 times 7 is still 28. Okay, um, here, uh, explain two other ways we can break this uh, array apart. Okay, so I can break this array into 4 by 4 and 4 by 3. Here's my 7 right here, except my 7 is 4 plus 3. Or I can do 2 plus 5 and do it the, um, the commutative way and do 2 first and do 5 first. I could do 1 and 6 if I wanted to. Okay, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 3 is 12, 16 plus 12 is 28. Here this is 8, 8 plus 20 is also 28. If we did 1 and 6, it would be 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24, 4 plus 24 is 28. So there's all kinds of ways you can break that up. Okay, so we can also use facts that we know. So for example, we can start with some smaller numbers, you guys, and start with facts that we know. Well, I know... We know that 2 times 7 equals 14 right there. All right, so we can do 3 times 7 by adding another group of 7. So 3 times 7 is the same as this 2 times 7, which is 14 plus 7 more. 14 plus 7 more is going to get us 21. And since we want to go to 4 times 7, and this is 3 times 7, which is 21, just add another group of 7 on there. So 4 times 7 is the same as 3 times 7, which is 21, plus 7 more, which is uh, 28. 
Okay, and either way, we're going to get uh, 4 times 7 is 28. You can do this with 5 times 7 or 6 times 7. You can do all these methods with all of that. Okay, so just some fancy ways to break up the 7s and make your problems a little bit easier. Okay, you guys, take care.